to show you guys how to make solid rocket fuel. This has some safety issues like fire and burn hazards and an explosion hazard if you compact it incorrectly and stuff like that. Keep it in an enclosed space and it'll blow up. So you don't want to do that. Um, make sure there's always a way for it to escape. That's how a rocket works, otherwise it's a bomb. So you need to be careful with this solid rocket fuel. I've used thermite in the past as a rocket fuel. Works pretty good, but it pretty much destroys whatever container it's in. Not ideal if you want to have a rocket or something. Uh, this burns at a lower temperature though. This is going to be a zinc and sulfur powder mix and it's going to light at a lower temperature too. You can light it with a fuse or a torch. You can't quite light it with a lighter. A little lighter. Yeah. It's got a little bit of flame, but... Whoa! That did not work. And I almost caught that box on fire. And my microphone caught on fire. Note to self. A lighter will light it. Kind of dangerous to do it that way though. Uh, mostly because you have to be so close to the ignition point and you can get burned. So let's not do that. Got kids around, I suggest they just don't do it. They could watch maybe uh, from a safe distance. But as far as them participating, this can be a little too quick acting for it to be okay for little kids to be around. There's no reaction time that you have to mess around with this. You just gotta be out of the danger zone. You're gonna have two ingredients. One is the sulfur powder. This is from Alpha Chemicals. I'll go ahead and put this in the Amazon link down below. And the other thing would be zinc powder. Uh, this also you can get on Amazon. A little more expensive, but this is about half of what I had. And what you're gonna do is by volume, not by weight, you're gonna mix these 50-50. And that will be your solid rocket fuel. So here we have the three ingredients. One of them being the fuse cord. You have the sulfur and you have the zinc. Now, of course, right now we're not going to need the fuse cord. That's for when we start building the rocket. But just for the purposes of showing you how to make the solid rocket fuel, I'll go ahead and show you. How I do this personally. That's not to say this is the best way or the worst way, because I don't know. I just know how to do this. I just get me some sulfur, and I'll get me some zinc, and try to try to get it to be about the same. Doesn't have to be exact. That's probably about the same. Now, sometimes sulfur gets a little clumped up, so I just break it apart with this. And I go ahead and mix them together. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, this is quite a bit. I mean, I know it's not doesn't look like much. I mean, there's my finger, so you could tell how much there actually is. It's not that much, but it actually is. That's enough to hurt yourself with pretty badly. So right here I have a little rocket that I made with a plastic test tube and some duct tape. I just packed it in there, made sure there was a big enough hole for the fuse. Hopefully enough for it to release this, this back end here. It's just a little snug. And that should also shoot it up when it releases. Hopefully I can catch this on slow motion. I hope all this goes well. <laughs> Epic fail. Okay, so I made another rocket, one that a little bit wider fins so that it can sit on here without falling over. 
and I also made it so that the the plug on the back doesn't come out, but I made the a hole in the back of the plug so that it's more nozzle shaped. Hopefully that will help it latch off higher. Also, I didn't pack it down, so maybe that will uh the maybe the loose fuel will make it more make it more volatile. I don't exactly know everything. I'm kind of just trying it out. That's how I learn by experience. Hopefully I can get this on the slow motion a little better than last time. We'll find out. Hopefully it even does better. That was awesome. That went so freaking high. <laughs> that worked a little too well. I could make a gun out of something like that. Okay, so loose fuel instead of pack, a nozzle that's smaller than the diameter of whatever you're holding the fuel in. And I didn't see a fire or nothing, so it must have put itself out and burned it all up at once before the, the nozzle, it was plastic, so before that could catch on fire. learning how to make solid rocket fuel go ahead like share and subscribe and leave a comment down below really help out also I've got a new website it's curiousbell.com just made it uh, it's pretty much got all the same stuff that YouTube has it's just uh, you know it's got a little bit better of a platform it also describes me a little bit more in detail than what YouTube can do So this worked. This is hot, but it worked. Um, it seems like the fuse end of this stuff worked. It did shoot the bullet straight into the dirt here. Nice to know you can make a weapon out of this if you really need to. This is just a pipe and pretty much turns it into a cannon. Um, not very safe though. I wouldn't want to be shooting this from right here because it's going to go right into me but pretty awesome